A fire on Monday night consumed a pair of elevated wooden structures through Dock Alley, an offshoot of Wagner's Lane. The blaze, according to 36-year-old Lancelot Flowers, who also lost his home, was intentionally set following a domestic dispute between his neighbors. I live over this house over this side to the, to the right. Um, me and my family members me the relax last night, me and my wife, my kids. And I overheard one, one argument in you know, this yard with my neighbor, the, the elder of the house that I key to work on lady and he left about five of his sons there in there to control the house. I heard one argument. I hear somebody talk about, you know, I got no house for living in here tonight. So I come out of my house and say, what did happen? When I looked down, a young lady, one, another young man with enough far wrong here, yeah. along with the, they had one disagreement with the, the two sons of the lady. They, we lived in you know, this yard there. Yeah. I come out and I defuse the problem. I tell them to get out of the place before they get hurt, because they can start problem in our neighborhood where they don't get tired of the problem, you know. Believing that the disagreement had been resolved, Flowers retreated to his home next door, only to find out a short while later that someone had set his neighbor's home on fire. The bedroom come back with the female and it look like they light them people the house up on fire. And I want something like I throw nothing out to nobody but have people I say and come back in at the yard, start on fight with the two sons. They run over the neighbor yard and left for their house for, for, for the people and do anything to it. And man, how the, the, the people get merciless. Just throw something in and light up the lady place for fire. You know, I'm gone about in business. My, one of my stepson tell me, they light something over here. I come out of my house and come around the person and done gone. And I see the leaf fire. So I haul across at the neighbor yard there for the two sons. They come over in my yard. I could come out this thing. Man, well, well this leaf house that my leaf plywood, so I don't notice the fire eat that up like nothing, bro. Um. The lady lose everything. I don't mean live, live over there. Like I say, I lose everything over there too in my house. Station officer Orin Smith of the National Fire Service confirmed the report and provided details of the damages caused by the fire. At approximately 7.50 p.m., the National Fire Service received reports from the police of a structural fire at a number 15 Wagner's Lane address, Police City. Uh, two units were dispatched to that location. On arrival on scene found was a 12 by 30 wooden bungalow structure completely engulfed in flames. The west face of a second wooden structure on an adjacent lot on the immediate east of the burning structure was also on fire. Following a brief size up, the department went into operation to extinguish the fire. As a result of that fire, the structure the fire originated at was destroyed. The second wooden structure received fire damage to its west face, a portion of the south face, and a part of the interior. Two other structures received minor fire damage. An investigation into the incident is ongoing. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.